hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. <laughs> no problem. No problem, thank you very much. You're welcome. Mate. The bomber tattooed on his back is of course a reference to his potent punch power and not in any way insensitive to the tragedy which unfolded in this arena when Ariana Grande performed Manchester will never forget. Crawford Ashley, if he'd have been with you now, Dennis, you would have. He'd have won a world title, wouldn't he? Champion, he'd have been a multiple belt uh, holder. Yeah, he would have uh, been. He would have he, been. He was, he was a dangerous. He was like a, a dangerous gunslinger coming into town. Him. That's how they marketed him. But you got him, didn't you? At right time, didn't you? Well, everything in life's about timing, Russ. And, and you know, I haven't got a magic wand, but. Fortunately for me and for fighters I've been involved with, my timing's uh, pretty good. I don't win them all, but Crawford, one or two, was saying, what are you doing putting Clinton in with Crawford? He was just a, a blown up super middle at the time, growing into the light heavyweight, and, and Crawford were a massive light heavyweight, big puncher. Mm. And I says, I knew that, or I thought in my mind, if Clinton was a tough, tough kid, and obviously uh, he, 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 he both, both through all the way through his career how tough he was we if if, if Crawford can't get to Clinton in the first three rounds Clinton will grind him down and take over now Clinton went on his front foot uh, faster than what we thought but that strategy as Crawford would say to you uh, uh, paid off yeah. uh, he, he couldn't get Clinton out of there the first couple of rounds but Clinton went on the front foot and thought, I'm going to bully the bully. That's the, that with the mentality. Because uh, Crawford could bully just about anybody in the world because he was that imposing big, heavy handed. Uh, I'd, I'd have loved to have worked with Crawford. He was bu robbed against Virgil Hill, wasn't he, on that Don King show? He was what? He was robbed against Virgil Hill, 39 and 1. Well, yeah, but. In America. Know, with 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 us, uh, Crawford's he, he he didn't he didn't I, when I listened to him he didn't rate himself as highly as he should have done. Clinton were a little bit like that. He told me you were a journeyman. I says how are you a journeyman, Crawford, uh, uh, British Commonwealth I, European I mean, champion? I can't believe the smart fella, but what a silly thing to say. A journeyman. He's journeyman. <laughs> Half of what. Crawford's achieved, how proud would I be of myself? I know. So, no, I've got. Is it? I like Crawford, and. Uh, 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 you know, like, on about fighters, he's one of them who springs to mind who I would love to work with. But the look, it got us. Because uh, he got a look, Crawford. Uh, uh, 
and uh, like I said, I had a marketed him like a gunslinger coming into town and then like, get ready. He had that look on, about him, didn't he, Danny? It's that cat stare, didn't he? Oh, cat you've always got to revert to it. You self blockage, you, aren't you? <laughs> 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 That's where you would all end up. No. So okay, we all women. <laughs> Be smooth. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anyway, moving we on. Uh, will boxing have to change its mentality and put 50 50 fights on now to get the fans back on the side? Um, I think, yes. I think. Uh, Say, say you're putting a show together. I think the top two has got to be as near to 50 50 as possible because people aren't silly. I mean, yeah, we love the sport, but you know, let's put meaningful fights on where people will have diff You've got, when you've got, say you've got 10 people in the room, you can't have all the 10 saying who's going to win the matchup. If you've got six saying one and four the other, or even seven saying one and three the other, you've got to. You've got people who are, up, who are uncertain. Then that's where you're getting your, your sort of fifty-fifty fights. Um, that's what's got to happen because if not, people will turn off. So, but <clears throat> yeah, promoters and managers and whatever they all want to, you know, they want to keep the kid winning. But you know, sometimes you've got to you've got to test them out. You've got to have, yeah, I'm the first two. No, the main two fights then you've got your kids coming through and you you, you, you put them in like with journeymen or you might say a 60-40 type of a fighter now, and you test them to a degree but if they're going to be what you think they are they should be the kid but if they're not they'll get found out them's the sort of fights that you, you may make and you, you need to make or if at all possible it's not always easy but you know that's how I brought kids through, like your Clintons and your Jamie, Jamie McDonald kind of fights. Uh, you're putting them in fights, but they don't just knock overs where they go, well, it's, it's just a showcase. It's, you know, they just get an appearance money rather than learning from that fight. Because, you know, you mentioned Adam Etches the other day, and uh, I got on really well with Adam. Uh, and uh, I, I were a bit miffed because I'd have liked him to have been with me I'll be honest with you because I think we'd have done a smashing job I think you were marketable sold plenty of tickets but like you got it right he, he, he stagnated he went stale he went stale and when it come to it he's, I don't think he's all 100% were in it when he fought a rider and I spoke to him about that so he never he never gave himself the proper opportunity for it when he fought a rider um, and you know if it had been with, with, with me instead of that um, you know, people make wrong decisions. Um, but it's you know, it's respect to him. He's got a smashing record. Why are excited to watch? Uh, but I think he couldn't bunch something meaningful. So it's just you've just uh, given the fifty-fifty or sixty-forty type fights at uh, the right time. Why are they the top in the bills? Could be in fifty-fifty type fights where people have a dip. Whether it be temporary or or ten, not ten zero, zero. That's not a fifty-fifty fight, is it, Russ? No. The people's opinion. So that I'm, I'm going out houses again just to tell the other. Yeah, you've got to put uh, fifty-fifty. Yeah. Uh, uh, on. All right then. Uh, question seven. Oh, sorry. Question six. Has the boxing bubble burst with fans being took for granted with ticket prices and fans not getting the fight fans not getting the fights they want? Say for example, Liverpool play Man United in FA Cup final and they say, Do you know what, we're not gonna play them or make them wait. Do you think there's too much of that going on in boxing and fans being took for granted? Um, I think it's you know what I mean. For example, Ricky Hatton, Witter. Frotch, Carl Zaggy, and even you, Dennis, with Tommy Frank against Sonny Edwards. I mean, let's have it right. You bottled that one, didn't you? You'd, you'd like to have a little dig. You're supposed to like me, I know, but you don't leave me out. You're, you're fair in that way, but I don't agree with us because... Come on, Dennis, we know what was said about that fight. Come on, get it. Let's have it out. Listen to me. You do your job and I'll do mine. All right. I've, mm. I've been in game a long time, Rust. You're a, you're a fledgling. Yeah, all right. You know what a fledgling is, don't you? Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, uh, L plates on. You've still got 
Well, they had to get it in red girl place to turn into green. But, um, what, a green with a P on them? <laughs> he just passed. Um, but, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people were having a pop, even Sonny were having a pop, that saying, uh, come on, get his fight on. But um, this, 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 this is the method. Um, I'm trying to build that into a bigger fight. If them two were to fight now, they won't get a lot of money. Tommy's not earning a fortune at the moment, but he knows where he wants to go, and he's trusting me and Glenn. To, to, to get in there. Now, when the time's right, I want Sonny to keep winning, because Sonny's a character. That'll be a smashing fight, but we want it to be for a meaningful fight where there's going to be a lot of uh, public interest and they're going to get paid well. So that's my method. Uh, and when it comes off, then Sonny will probably say, yeah, you were right, Dennis. Uh, and you'll, you'll begrudgingly say it, yeah, but at the moment, they're not big enough yet. The fight's not big enough for us. Yeah, but it's Dennis... Like, I've got to create some theatre. I don't want any fight. He's, 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 the top is smashing fights already. They haven't been walkovers. You you thought he lost against the Thai kid. Yeah, I did, yeah. I thought he, got, I thought he so, lost. Yeah, and you even told him to his face, which I don't think were a very smart thing to do. Well, uh, why, well what am I going to do? Blow smoke up his arse and pat him on back like everybody else? Because... There's no filter, and you know, do you, do you tell your, do you tell your, your missus she's been crap at work every day, or your, your kids have been rubbish at school? No, you, 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 you feed them, you encourage them to go and do better next time. That's what you do, yeah. and that's where me and you differ. But now you were wrong, and I weren't very happy with you, were I? No, uh, no. You've got an opinion, Russ, and a lot of what you say is the truth. So, uh, but some of, some of the stuff you come out with. I go, why have you said that, Russell? But I get you, it's it's a great fight, and I know, I know you're pestered me life at. Why don't you make that fight? You got on my nerves, ain't it? Yeah, but Dennis, what are we in boxing for when you're knocking British title fights back for? I mean, come on. Because we're going to go on and win a world title instead, all right? <laughs> go on, answer that one. Mr. Yeah, all right, that's like uh, Robin Reed when they, he went for world title in Italy and won it. So, yeah, fair enough, I see that, but... It's I, both sides, Russ. I see your side, but I'm, I'm the conductor in one. Yeah, but and I'm going to say what I want to particular rule, I want us to fight Sonny, but I want it to be a great fight, whether I put it on or co-promote it or somebody else has to do it, we'll, 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 I want to do it, I want Sonny to keep winning because he's a character, some of the stuff he comes out with is a bit like you, sometimes you think, Sonny, you've gone a bit too far there, but he's good for the game, he's good for the game, and, and, and if, if he wants to be the bad guy, Tommy's just a lovely, lovely kid who can fight, and he won't, and he won't buy down, Tommy. So he just hangs on every word me and Glenn says, if we're going to move him in whatever direction, he goes, right, for me, you, whatever you put in front of me, I'll fight. I don't want him to find yet. Glenn done. We've got a, we've got a plan, but it's hopefully in the next two or three fights, I, I want us to fight uh, Sonny Edwards for a, in a, in a biggest fight in Sheffield. And whether it's to Sheffield United or something like that, and put a big show on, and whether I co-promote it or we, we're capable of putting it on ourselves, uh, let's do it. I want to do it, but not yet. Tell me, right, uh, Russ. All right, just, uh, do you remember about five years when I said, Dennis, we need a meeting about this, and you, I'm not going to say what it were, and you went, yeah, come and see me, we'll, we'll have a meeting for, for about half an hour, and then we'll decide I'm right. Well, I know where you got that saying from, I've seen it on a Brian Clough thing on YouTube, where somebody had a problem with him, he said, come and see me, and we'll, have, we'll chat for 20 minutes, and then we decide, <laughs> old big head Clough is right, that's where you nick that from. So basically, I've got L plates on. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but but you're a, you're a good, you're a quick learner. You've got a, you've got a good brain, but it's a bit warped sometimes. All right. Well, that's probably why warped films are looking at us. You're, listen, you're, you're, you're already smarter than me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's gonna be he's, he's gonna be the one. He's gonna be a smarty pants him. Yeah. He's gonna be he's a bit shy at that little. End. All right then. Right then. Question seven. Do you think? Tyson versus Wilder will happen, and do you? Because obviously there's Frank, uh, Bob Arum and Frank Warren are saying Tyson Wilder freeze happening, but Eddie is pushing all his little YouTube little. Well, you know what I do, Russ? Go on. Eddie can push AJ as much as he wants to. 
No, you jumped in on my question, Dennis. Dennis, I was saying, Eddie Hearn has got like his favourites on YouTube, and I know a lot of people behind the scenes, and he's getting these favourites on YouTube, and we know who they are, to push Joshua against Tyson Fury. But it looks like Frank and Bob Arum are making them stick to the contract because Poole has been offered step aside and Wilder. So will the, will Wilder Fury free happen or will it be Joshua Fury? What do you think? Uh, I wouldn't. Tell you what I'd do. I'd, this is where I'd pull rank on Eddie. Tyson is in the driving seat. Tyson, uh, whether he... Whether you agree or not, is the number one in the world. Yeah, I agree. I agree on that. Right. So, Bob and Frank and MTK have got Tyson. <laughs> now, AJ, just because he's got more belts, his, his career has just tarnished at the moment. He got beat by, and actually, Andy Ruiz, come back and ran, ran all around the ring and beat a Ruiz. Smart. Bob Smart. Ruiz would have been out partying and put on, on a fat body an extra stone on. Couldn't get anywhere near Joshua. Absolute walkover. Not didn't prove anything. Mm. Now so for me, AJ is not in a position to dictate the big fight. So what I'm getting at. Yeah. I would I would uh if they need to pay a step aside. If they are able to, depends on what the IBF will agree to or WBC will agree to. But there's always ways, usually in business. Uh, I'd say step aside, I pay a step aside to Pulev, who, who will be just rubbing his hands together because, you know, he's... He's nearly 40. He's 40 next birthday. Well, that should have been you if you were there. If you would have shown his true form, you, you, you would beat Pulev. I were there with you. You got cut and, though. Uh, uh, yeah, it was there for 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 Yui to to be, but circumstances went against Yui, you know, that cut and everything. And but in a, on a different night, Yui Fury uh, capable of beating that could have been. I were all set up for Yui to be there anyway. But Pure F has has swam the channel. He's going to get maybe step aside, or he's going to get a big payday. Um, so what I'd do, I'd give him a payday. I'd give, and if I were involved with. Um, Deontay, I'd say, yeah, okay, I'll step inside, but we've got a bit of both. I've got to fight the winner. Deontay needs a bit more time to regroup. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me, because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>